it all early in the season as he is sick of what? Yo, what's up guys? Joel here. We're getting back to our road to the show series with Graham Nash. So we just finished our first season, our age 18 season, our first year. We went through double A, we went through triple A. All right, we're getting ready to start our off season after a heartbreaking playoff loss. Tough. Graham Nash was not in a good state of mind at the end of the playoffs, but we're heading into the postseason now. So let's see what all that entails. All right, so we have made it to the offseason officially. Have you retired players? Chris Davis retired. He probably should. <laughs> Ability. Anibal Sanchez retires. All right, anyways, a few people retire. Fantastic. Albert Pujols retires and makes it into the Hall of Fame. You love to see it. Congratulations, Albert Pujols. All right, we're going to view our calendar. All right, we're gonna, I guess we'll just simulate. I don't know. There we go. All right, whole lot of simulate. New contract offer. One year, 87,000. One year, 87,000. We're not far off from being the best player in our organization. We were very frustrated with the team after the playoffs. But Graham Nash, after talking with his agent, his agent, he realized, you know, he's got an opportunity here where he can move up to the major leagues very quickly. And once he gets there, then who knows what will happen. He's going to sign his one-year deal with the Orioles. And spring training begins. Did we get a spring training invite? I It sure looks like it. It sure kind of looks like we got a spring training invite. Maybe not. All right, no, we didn't. Womp womp. All right, so no spring training invite for Graham Nash here. Quite unfortunate, but we are ready to begin our Triple A second season at age 19. So these are the players around us. Uh, has this guy got any potential? Potential B. EJ Stewart, potential B. 26 though. Just trying to see if there's any any potential in this minor leagues organization that's going to come up with me. Or with Graham Nash, I should say. And it doesn't look like it. All right, so we're, all right, so we're getting ready to start the regular season, age 19 at AAA. And uh, a little bit of, little bit of news, young Graham Nash, now popular. Uh, he's going to he's going to pick up some sponsorships. So he is going to pick up the uh, we're not quite a diamond level sponsorships cuz we're still kind of new. So we're we're uh Sam Bat, the KB1 Maple as his sponsored bat. He got some uh, some Nike batting gloves. He only has one on for some reason. Got Nike batting gloves now. He got a, a Nike sponsorship all around. As far as he got a Nike glove as well. He's got the Nike cleats. Nike went through and sponsored him. Oh, look at that. The Nike elbow guard, the Nike, oh, Nike everything. Uh, except this, he doesn't have Nike this. He's got a Nike, or an Evo shield. Um, yeah, he gets the lizard skin. Why not? Lizard skin's not a huge brand, why not? We get the lizard skin as well. And he wants to start this ritual. Uh, number one supporter. So he's got some equipment now. He's going to play a little bit better with his sponsorship. All right, so there's been a lot of talk in the locker room that Graham Nash going into the season uh, maybe has a big head. A lot of attitude in the offseason, a lot of interviews talking about how he thinks he should have been at spring training, how he thinks he's probably the best player at AAA, probably the number one prospect in baseball. This man's is not selling himself short as he's ready to prove to the world that he is the best player in baseball even if it is just minor league baseball 
We're going to go ahead and see what Graham Nash has here. Here is his first AB in AAA of the year. So we know that last year did not end super well for the, the Tides. But Graham Nash is going to smoke this the other way. It is foul. So Graham Nash trying to do big things here in his first at bat. That ball is hammered. It is out in right field so he doesn't quite get all of it and flies out to right field kind of anticlimactic for the guy who self-proclaimed best player in baseball who's now wearing one batting glove for some reason so we're definitely gonna have to change that makes a lot of sense and he's wearing a double ear flapped helmet so i'm not sure what happened there but things got messed up we look like an idiot out here maybe it's because graham nash just doesn't care He's out there looking like a goofball because he just he he doesn't seem super happy about the way things ended. He re-signed his deal with the Orioles because he knows it gives him his best chance at the major leagues, but he definitely doesn't seem to be taking minor league baseball and the Orioles super seriously from all reports in the offseason. He's going to hit this ball into right for a nice single, and that'll be Graham Nash's first hit of the 2021 season. All right, Nash is third AB of the season here against Fa Phil Castilia. Nash is going to reach for it out of the zone and shoot it out into right field. And that's going to be another fly out for Graham Nash. Now he's playing a little center field. He's got the new Nike glove on, the new Nike spikes on. He's got... He's got some con he's got some sponsorships this year and a little extra swagger on a guy who probably didn't need a little extra swagger. He has been more than happy to talk himself up this offseason. And Graham Nash gonna just sail on over. Pretty easy catch. We are uh, as as fans of the Orioles, as the announcers of the Orioles, we expect big things here out of Graham Nash. We are a little bit of afraid that maybe his head has gotten a little big for himself. He's going to rope this ball right to the first baseman. And Graham Nash is one for four on the day. And now he's going to verse Garcia on the hill, the lefty-lefty matchup. Oh, Graham Nash is going to put a little bit of a charge into this one. This ball is going to be deep to center field, but another fly out in Graham Nash. Starts off his season one for five. And so maybe a lot of distractions this offseason for Nash playing into this tough game number one for him. Or maybe we're just thinking too much into it. Nash is going to go back. He's going to try and field this ball. Oh, and he robs him! Graham Nash scales the wall and makes the catch. Graham Nash with that new Nike glove goes on up and brings the ball back. What a catch from Graham Nash. He does it all. Maybe that'll spark the bat. And maybe it will because here it is. Graham Nash now with an opportunity. He's one for five on the day against a guy who definitely seems like he's got a funky motion. Oh, and a big old changeup. That is definitely something everyone in the league knew from last year that Graham Nash would swing way over the changeup. That ball is hit the other direction. It looks like it might be hooking foul. It is. 0-2 oh, now on Graham Nash here in the top of the 12th tie game. 5-5. Five five. Jose Ruiz with the funky motion. Definitely hard to pick the ball up, especially throwing 95 and up in the zone. Graham Nash just looking to do something and not be 1-5. for five. Oh, that pitch is going to be inside, and that runner is going to move up into scoring position now for Graham Nash with one out. Nash has an opportunity, and he didn't seem real happy about where that pitch was. He felt like it was a little bit close to him. Maybe it was a message for all the cockiness that Graham Nash brings to the table. As he goes and swings at a pitch way out of the strike zone and shoots it into center field, and he's now one for six on the day. Graham Nash, a really rough game number one, but a heck of a defensive play. But the Tides are going to win it. All right, here we go. Game number two for Graham Nash in the 2021 season. 
as he went one for six. Nash is going to swing at the 3-0 pitch. He wants a hit bad enough this year. This one's gone. So not a moonshot, but Graham Nash hits it almost 110 miles an hour over the wall. And he has his first of the year, his second hit of the year, and it silences this AAA crowd. Graham Nash, oh, Graham Nash just, just a little too cocky, and it looks like even his teammates kind of shaking his head like, come on, man. Not here, but Graham Nash does a bit of a fadeaway after hitting that bomb. His first of the year in 2021. And why are we not surprised that Graham Nash kind of showing up the other team on that home run, swinging on 3-0, and hits it out, and then does a fadeaway on home plate. That ball gets down as the center fielder dives for it, and Nash kind of stopped it first. And he's going to have himself an RBI double. So Nash's big day now continuing as he makes up for the slow first game. An RBI double here for Graham Nash. Look at this effort out of the center fielder, but he's just not going to get there. And Graham Nash not really hustling. Thought it was going to be a routine play, but instead it is an out. All right, Nash is two for two today. Having quite a day. And Phil Castilla, good game here. And that ball is hammered to center field for a big single out of Graham Nash. He does have 76 power against righties this year. Just expecting it here at this point as Nash has a 2-1 count. He is going. He gets kind of a late jump. He's going to slide in there. And he's in there with a stolen base. He is in there. He steals third base. So Graham Nash, with hardly any lead at all, is going to swipe third base as he gets in there just ahead of the throw. I thought he was out. But the umpire calls him safe, and he steals two. He's got two stolen bases on the year now. So Nash has a double, a single, a home run, and two stolen bases today. And so he is a triple away from the cycle. Here in game two of the season. That ball is inside. It's not even a strike. And he's going to hammer this ball off the wall. And Graham Nash has got himself a shot at the cycle. He's going to three. Graham Nash is going to be in there. And Graham Nash has his second career minor league cycle. And it comes here in game two of the 2021 season. And Graham Nash just places this ball off the wall. And he is scooting. And I, I think we have seen every tool in Graham Nash's toolbox in the first two games here as he robs a home run. Now he hits for a cycle and he has two stolen bases. This man is showing he can do it all. And he's showing he can do it all early in the season as he is sick of what? All right, here we go. Game three of Graham Nash's second season and he had a monster game yesterday he hit for the cycle stole a couple bases so far we have seen a little bit of everything out of Graham Nash as he continues to wear his goofy outfits that ball's up the middle and it is going to be a single for Graham Nash so now the Tides have two runners on and nobody out here in the first inning all right, Graham Nash with his second at bat. He did hit a single and then get picked off last time. So he's looking to advance the runner with one out. The coach has given him the objective of advance the runner. That is a hanging high curve ball. That ball is deep to center field. Nobody's advancing on that one as he does make the catch on the warning track. As Graham Nash wasn't trying to advance the runner. He was trying to score the runner. Oh, and Nash murders that ball to right field for a single. He got all of that. You could hear it off the bat how hard he hit it. And he is now in there with a single. And you think he wants that stolen base. You got to think he wants that stolen base. I think he's going to steal this base solely off that pitcher. And he did. Easy. Easy. Easy stolen base. Graham Nash is third of the year. All right, Graham Nash here in the top of the eighth. It is tied. He's two for three. 
He wants to make solid contact for a hit. Graham Nash in a 3-3 game. Top of the eighth. Woo! Big swing and a miss on the curveball is Graham Nash. Nash is kind of quietly hitting the ball well this year. That ball is hammered into the right center field gap. And he's going to have himself his second double of the year. It's interesting because our perspective for Graham Nash is that he should be hitting bombs every at bat. And when he hits a few singles in a row, it feels like he's really not hitting the ball all that hard. But that's a hanging curveball, and he just shoots it into the alleyway for his second double of the season. All right, so Graham Nash did score on that double, but then his team blew it. And it's 4-4 four to four in the top of the ninth now. And Nash has got to do something here with a runner on and two outs if they want to have the lead going into the bottom of the ninth. Graham Nash is the bat you want at the plate given this circumstance. But we will see if he can come through in the clutch. As a ball inside, 1-0 to Nash. Nash is 3-4 for four on the day. He's having a pretty solid start to his season. He probably can't complain. He's definitely making a case that he should be on the big league squad sooner rather than later. And it's only game three. And that ball is right down the middle. But it's that that dangerous changeup that gets Nash out in front just about every time. Ah, and he gets locked up on the fastball after that. And he's mad at himself for that one. He gets locked up on the fastball after the down the middle changeup, and now it's two and two. Two and two, two outs, runner on Graham Nash. Whoa, that ball is high and in. Nash has had a pitch close to him every game this series. And I don't know if you saw it there, but he was shaking his head in the batter's box. He's going to take a walk, though. So Graham Nash takes the walk here in the top of the ninth. So we are in the top of the 12th, and this game is still tied 4-4. to Nash is still 3-4. for He did walk his last at bat. He's having a pretty solid little game. We haven't seen the big fly out of him yet, but you got to think if he keeps getting at-bats, it's only a matter of time. A good backdoor slider there, but Nash doesn't really want anything to do with that on the first pitch anyways as he's looking for something to bust open this game for his team. He wants to give his team a lead with one swing of the bat. Anyone that's been following... Nash knows that he that's what he's up there trying to do. Guerrero on the hill throws hard. So you got to think if he makes good contact, the ball's going to fly. He does make decent contact with it. It is over the wall. And Graham Nash has his second home run of the year. This one also not a bomb. So Nash is hitting more pedestrian type home runs here. And this one comes in the 12th inning to give the Tides the lead. And a mash from Graham Nash. And we don't see any kind of cockiness out of him this time. Just a lot of excitement out of him and not so much out of the Knights as Graham Nash does the damage. His teammates are hyped as Nash puts him ahead here in the top of the 12th. One of his teammates even steals his helmet. And Nash just does enough to put this ball out for his second of the year. Graham Nash coming up for his seventh at bat. As this game has continued into the 14th inning. Into the 14th inning. Graham Nash gave him a lead a couple innings ago, but they could not hold on. And he already messes up his objective of only swinging at pitches inside the zone as he swings at a pitch outside of the zone to start the at-bat. Once again, it's that changeup. It's the pitch that gets Nash. And that ball's right down the middle, and Nash is going to shoot it up the middle for a single here in the top of the 14th. And there is no doubt in my mind what Nash is planning on doing. Here we go, Graham Nash. Off the lefty, though. It is a little trickier. Nash gets a pretty good jump here, and he walks the batter, though. And it won't matter. Nash is off to a very hot start here in AAA in his ni age 19 season. He does have a hitting streak carrying over from last year of eight games now. Here in the top of the first, the lefty-lefty matchup. And you know that Nash 
is really out here trying to perform so he can make the the major league squad. He's going to shoot this ball to center field. He doesn't even make good woodwill on it. And that ball is going to travel pretty deep into the outfield. And Nash is 0 for 1 today on the lefty-lefty matchup. If there's any weaknesses to Graham Nash's game, it's the fact that hitting a changeup is difficult for him. And this lefty-lefty matchup has at times been challenging for him. But this ball is going to be drilled into the alleyway. And Nash is going to have himself another double. Another double for Graham Nash. As he comes through here in the top of the third with one out. That is his third double of the season already. We can't even see him because Mr. Umpire is in the way. So Nash continues to hit the ball. We haven't seen any moonshots out of Nash this year. His home run, both home runs have been pretty normal, just over the wall home runs. When Nash is honestly known for those 420 plus, 450 plus home runs. Those are the distances we're used to seeing out of Graham Nash. He smokes this ball right at the second baseman and there's no way they're gonna double up Nash though. He hammered that ball, and the second baseman just barely gets a piece. And Nash has got an opportunity here with one out, though. He's got an opportunity to put himself into scoring position as well to make up for that. And Nash is off. And that guy is swinging, and he gets through, but Nash could not see it. So we'll continue here. Nash is one for three on the day. It's unfortunate that last at bat didn't count as anything because he hammered it. That ball is right there, and Nash is going to shoot this one by the second baseman. No doubt about that one being a single as he hammers that one into right field for a single. And Nash, I don't know, it's interesting because it doesn't seem like Nash to start this year has had the moonshot power. He's getting. It seems like the singles and doubles are where he's living at. And uh, he just had a couple almost doubles turn into home runs this year as they just barely got out. And Nash is off again. And he's in there. He's going to steal another bag, though, as he's showing that power is not the only aspect to his game as he steals that base pretty easily. And Nash is now up to what I believe is four stolen bases on the year. And he's going again as the pitcher is very slow to the plate. They're sending him home as he was looking for the steal. And instead he's going to be scoring from second on the RBI single. So Nash is two for four today. He's scored both times. Here it is in the top of the ninth. You know the crowd watching Graham Nash. Oh, there it is. The pitch we all know about, the low changeup. That changeup is Graham Nash's kryptonite. But that fastball down the middle is not, but he actually hits it too hard as he hits it right to the center fielder. And, and for Nash, it was a pretty quiet night. So here we go. It is Nash's game four of his age 19 season. Look at those stats. He's batting 571, two home runs, three RBIs, and four stolen bases. So he's doing a little bit of everything here. And he wants to make that big league squad. And that ball is up in the zone. And he gets a good chunk of it, and it is gone. That ball is about four rows back. And Graham Nash has his third home run of the year. This one, again, not a no-doubter by any means. But he does get plenty of it. And another solo shot for Nash is his third of the season. And Nash is, oh, the fadeaway again. And Nash having no problem showing people up here in AAA as he hits this ball 403 feet into probably the fourth row of the seats. That ball just kind of hung up there. So let's see. Nash is looking to increase that power. He's going to power swing and advance the runner. Let's see what he does here. The ball's out of the zone, so Nash is not going to get caught swinging at it. The tides are up 2 to nothing. Nash had that solo shot his last at bat. And Nash murders that ball past the first baseman, almost killing him. And Nash is going to just take his single, and the runner is going to advance to third, and Nash does complete his challenge as well. 
as he absolutely murders that pitch. And I mean, once again, Nash is going to be off. Oh, and the guy strikes out looking instead. Womp womp. Nash really wanted another stolen base. He's 14 for 23 on the season. He did hit that home run earlier in the game. He hit a really hard single earlier in the game. That ball out of the zone. And Nash a little in front of that two seamer as he swings at that pitch out of the zone. We know that Nash has tremendous power against righties. There's the changeup, and he's way out in front. But he does make contact on a good inside corner pitch there to battle it off. That ball's out of the zone, and it's going to be getting away from the catcher, and the runners are going to move up into scoring position. And so now Nash has two runners in scoring position in his one and two count. He's got an opportunity to do some real damage. Really looking to put this game away, add to his stat total on the season, really make the Orioles consider calling him up. If he could come through here, he could use some RBIs. His home runs have been solo shots for the most part. That ball is foul as that would have been big time damage down the line. Easily two runs there if Nash could just straighten that ball out just a little bit. Three and two full count now. If I am Ian Anderson on the hill, I'm thinking, I'm considering just walking Nash here. The base is open at first base. I'm not going to get let him beat me here. But he is going to, it's going to be a foot race to first now. Nash is going to be called out at first. Oh my goodness. What a close play at first base. And he's called out. Here we go. Here's Nash with an opportunity in first and third one out now. He grounded out with runners in scoring position. His last at bat, he had an opportunity. He's going to hammer this ball to opposite field. Left fielder's giving chase and going to make a good play running back at the wall. But it will be an RBI for Graham Nash. As he does come through and tack on the RBI for himself here in the sixth. Alrighty, so realizing Graham Nash has played, we... Uh, Ended up accidentally hitting the button one more time, but we had a day off anyways, so we are good. I don't know. Maybe we played too many games. But anyways, Graham Nash starting off his AAA season. Let's look at how his stats are to start his AAA season. So in 25 at-bats, he's batting 563 home runs, 5 RBIs. And we're going to go ahead and simulate the rest of the first month let's see how it goes for graham nash is going to all right holy cow all right so nash at the end of month number one let's see what we've got here so right now he is on fire oh my gosh batting 408 with eight bombs and 14 rbis that is the best simulation stats we have ever had out of graham nash and he is absolutely on a tear we weren't even we didn't even he hit more home runs simulating than we did play and he is the lead leader in batting average hits home runs pablo sandoval is second not rbis though interesting down here all right but graham nash what a way to start the season you absolutely love to see it. So we will see you next time. If you are enjoying this series, hit that like, hit that subscribe, leave a comment below. How do you, when do you think Graham Nash will get called up to the major leagues? Comment down below. When do you think he'll get called up? All right. I will see you guys next time.